your popo. I love you. <laughs> it's cold here, guys. Today is Saturday, the last weekend of April. Come on, let's go. Cold bear spent the night. Uh, that front storm blew through last night and brought some rain and thunder and lightning and wind and cold weather. Well, cold to pawpaw. And uh, the Lakota bear is going to go, yeah, get up off the dirt, kid. What's wrong with you? Come on. She going to help me feed up. Uh, I'm not in no big hurry. I'm drinking my coffee as I go. So, I got my coffee with me. And uh, we're going to feed up. She and Kim are going to take off and go pick up some groceries here in a little bit. Uh, I think tomorrow's Sunday dinner. Uh, I don't think they on them will be here. They got some kind of activity they got to go to, I think. But there'll just be a few of us. But anyway, we're going to, I think, just have, I think G and I agreed on hot dogs. Go ahead. Get on, baby. Get on, you get on. I'm gonna, I'll be right there. I think we're just going to do hot dogs out here on the grill and stuff, I think. And this afternoon's a big old house cleaning, I guess you might call it. She won't been wanting to shampoo her carpets for two or three weeks. But the kids every day, it's hard to do. And she's going to do it today with this one kid. <laughs> but she'll be hanging out with Papa. We'll stay out of her way. Can you get on? I'm coming. <laughs> Your runny nose, kid. Uh, I took her shoes off because every time Heidi gets on here, her shoes fall off. We don't want to lose them, so I put them in the back. Now, hopefully, after we get everything fed up, don't you dare get to start that yawning stuff, kid. Don't you start that yawning stuff. We're going. No, go she's good. She's she's impatient. She's impatient, Heidi. Uh got a lot of things I want to go through on that table over there. I don't want to wait no longer than I have to. So we get everything kind of lined out today. Hopefully, I can at least go through the stuff that's addressed to G and Papa. And uh anything for Ivan. And Johnny will save it and bring them out maybe later today, just those two. I know there's something for Johnny. I know there's something for Ivan. I do not want them actually there when we're trying to open stuff for you your pop because they get kind of rough. I don't want them breaking something. So we're going to leave that to later. Hopefully I can get it out to y'all and maybe even add it to this video uh, sometime today. I don't want to get behind. Uh... So I hope you guys was okay with that little substitute I had this morning. But we just, we're swamped, guys. We This is the first day we haven't had four kids, and we got one. And we got a lot we want to get done this weekend. Uh, I want to wash the house. It's cold. Wish it had been warm, but I'm going to get my power square out later today and try to wash the house. She's doing the shampooing in, in the house. And uh, then there's grocery stuff too, and then there's Sunday, Mar Sunday. So it's a pretty, pretty busy day. And I see Ivan out there waiting. He's he glaring at me. <laughs> Hurry up, Bobo! All right, I'm gonna get busy we feeding. Up. Lots of noise up here again. Uh, the other Jean's mom was done. You know, figured okay, she's fine. She's up here. I can go look at her when I want to. Jake separated uh, Zippy from. Her baby, I think yesterday. So we've been hearing that all night long out here. He did a good thing that he put those cow panels along here. Oh, hang on. And uh, so she can't get to crawl through to her mom. And hopefully we can get Breezy's little calf up here from uh, Granny. First day or so this week, I get kind of caught up. I try to help her bring it up and, uh, and put it in there. And so Granny can go ahead and get weaned off too. Right now, I'm gonna go feed my girl Billie Jean and I'm gonna give Zippy a few cubes because she's upset. Yeah, she's very upset about it. 
But she'll hang around here for several days, just like Billie Jean's mom did. And finally she'll realize, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and wean her off. And she, I see her every day. She's fine. I can go check on her, just like Billie Jean's mom did. And come up and sleep by her at night by the fence if, if she wants to. But after a few days, then that, that will start to cease. Yeah, I know, baby. You're upset. Funny thing is, uh, Jake's little calf is going to have horns. Now, that has to be a throwback back to Billy's ancestry. Because, you know, Moses is her dad. And he's naturally polled. And Zippy is is polled. And uh, because, you know, Granny, the grandma, was polled. You know, no horns. But so for her to come along and have horns, she had to be a throwback to Billy's ancestry. All of Billy's parents, you know, were all horned. They're beef masters. They're all horned. So it's a throwback. But anyway, she'll fit right in. All Jake's got horns. If <laughs> you'll fit right in. All right, I'm going to get off and feed my girl here. Gave, uh, whew, that wind's blowing. Baby girl, that wind's blowing now, ain't it? We're going to go back in for a minute, too. And anyway, I give her Zippy some, some cubes. And we'll go back in and take the baby out of the wind right now. I'll come back out in a few minutes. I got a trailer keeper with me. Uh oh, I see Bria showed up probably looking for a babysitter. That ain't gonna work today because she's shampooing today. <laughs> yeah, shampooing. Papa gotta keep you with me. Yeah, let's go in for a few minutes, okay? Yeah, just for a few minutes. Look at old Johnny. Just up or above Carrie. He said, look at me, Carrie. You can't do this. Only only the Johnny can do it. Only the Johnny. <laughs> he hasn't gotten out in the last two or three days, so I think possibly I have evidently fixed a place at the back because I keep putting panels up every day, or at least one or two. And I've evidently covered it at some point, plus moving that cage away from the fence. I'm coming, baby girl. We're going in. So anyway, look at he's he steady looking at that fish. It's a long ways across there. He can't jump that far. He would if he could. He's thinking about it. Can I make it, guys? Can I make it? Johnny, Johnny, get your butt down. Get down, Johnny. Enough's enough. Yeah, he don't care. He don't care what Papa says. Morning, Amy. <laughs> Morning, baby girl. What are you bunch of crazy goats doing? Amy said, Amy, you've been rolling, had you? Look at your old back. It's all back. Your back's all dirty. What? You got straw in your mane. Dirt in your mane. Bree's coming to feed y'all just a minute. If she don't, I'll throw you some cubes. Oh, there's a, there's Bree's little calf we need to take yet. First day we get a chance to take it up and put it with Jake's little calf and wean it, don't we, girl? Yes, we do. I love you. I do love you. You know that, don't you? You know that, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Amy. Amy says, Papa. I visit her every day. I come by every day and visit with her. Love on her. She's a pretty good girl. Pretty good girl, huh? Yeah, you are. Yes, you are, Amy. A pretty good girl. That wind is blowing today, guys. That wind is blowing. I love you. Ah, don't knock my camera over. But you look at her back. <laughs> oh, baby girl. Look at my heifer. Look at my heifer. <laughs> That's my heifer. I ain't got a lot of help. 
Yeah, you are too. You hear these kids talking about stinging grass. This is what it is. It's got little bitty spines, little needles all up and down uh, everywhere. All on the main stem and on the little everywhere. And if you touches you, that stuff will cause you to sting and itch like crazy. Papa! I'm coming, baby. Now this has not always been here, guys. This has not always been here. It's been here during one of our floods a few years ago. And it grows along fences and places where cows don't walk or eat and stuff. And that's where it grows at. Good morning, guys. I'm in my lab. Went to the doctor yesterday, and uh, my new doctor. And he was very happy with the progress I'm making. Although it didn't take blood to see that my sugar levels and all that kind of stuff, but I'd lost like 12 pounds since I was there, what, a month or so ago. Anyway, uh, he said uh, he was very impressed. And he says, whatever you're doing, you keep it up. I said, well, I've cut out most of my breads and stuff of eat, you know, and very seldom we eat any kind of fast food. Now and then, I'll splurge and have fast food. Uh, very seldom. Uh, but anyway, and I take, uh, which I don't know if it helps on the weight gain, but I take these uh, cinnamon and whatever, chromium pills, one in the morning, one at night. And uh, that's supposed to help. I also do cinnamon on, on a piece of uh, wheat bread, one one slice at night. I'll sprinkle cinnamon all over it. Uh, it's a different kind of, it's Ceylon or something like that, cinnamon. Not as sweet as regular cinnamon, but it's it's, it's fine. And, uh, and a little bit of milk. That's my little night treat. But anyway, regardless, I'm losing some weight with it. And uh, a few other issues we're working on. But anyway, that's, that's so this morning, I'm going to start. I'm going to start me a whole wheat starter. I've been reading up on them. And I know, I know every one of you folks have your own little recipe. But I found one that's very simple. And that's what I like. It's simple. I don't like complicated stuff. So I'm going to get my whole wheat flour out. I'm going to put about a half a cup in my jar and about a fourth of a cup of water and stir it up good and let it sit. Let it sit. And tomorrow, 24 hours, I'll feed it. And I think this little recipe I'm looking at on the third day, i got to take some out, half of it out, and feed it again. And by the fourth or fifth day, hey, I can cook with it. Then I'll make some whole wheat bread. Okay, so you hang up. Okay. Yeah, I'll cut. Whole wheat, whole wheat flour. In the bottom jar. And then a fourth of a cup water and then I'm gonna stir it up good and it's pretty pasty I may have to add a little bit of water I said I need a little bit wetter than this yeah got a little bit wetter than this put a little bit more water just a hair the hair. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think that's pretty. Yeah, a bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh yeah. So it took a little bit more than a quarter of water, about a, a third, I think. It up good and smooth, you know, and make sure ain't no dry stuff in here nowhere. And okay. I uh look at this 
the recipe is whole wheat. Uh, I don't eat a lot of bread. I told you I, I cut back on all that bread. But I love bread. Guys. I, that's, that's probably my biggest downfall is bread. I'm not a big sweet eater. My sweets, banana pudding, yeah. But I'm not much, I don't eat a lot of cookies and stuff like that. But bread. Anyway. I'm going to try this, do it like another recipe told me, and uh, tomorrow I'll, I'll add to this, and then uh, the next day, I think I'll have to look, look back, I think the third day, I take some of it out and, and add more back. After about the fourth, fifth day, I think I can cook with it. Just guessing. That's what I read. I've taken a paper towel, tried to clean the best of the sides best I can down to it without making a mess. And uh, and I'm gonna let it set. We'll look at it tomorrow. All right, that's the whole wheat starter right here. And this is the old starter I had in the refrigerator. And I emptied out all but one half cup. And I added a half cup of whole wheat flour to it. And I'm gonna see what it does. It's already starting to bubble. It's already starting to bubble. If you can see it. Already bubbling. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Been in the refrigerator now for how long? A month? Yep, probably about a month. <laughs> yeah, I just now fed it. And this is day three. I took some out. And fed it. This is the old one. I took some of it out and fed it also. Uh, and I'm feeding it with whole wheat. Now, they say sourdough bread is not real bad for for young sugar stuff. But I don't I'm not I can't go cold turkey on it or my sweets. But I don't eat no hard enough sweets at all. I do. I do. Have a fig newton and a glass of milk. That's my sweets. And uh, besides that little cinnamon piece of toast at night, only sweets I've been eating. But if I can make some sourdough bread, which is supposed to be good for you or okay for you, I say okay, then I will. Those chips are not mine. <laughs> Don't let them chips, they're not mine. Uh, I will. That was left over from Rendezvous. I'll take them in for the kids. Uh, I'll make me some sourdough bread, and now and then when I want a slice of bread or need a piece of bread, if I need a piece of bread, I'll have sourdough. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, if I can continue like I'm going and lose, say, another 12 pounds before I go back, I'm hoping my numbers will be good. He thinks they will. He thinks they will, and I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. So I'm just slowly trying to lose some weight by cutting out breads and, and starches. I, like I say, I do splurge now and then and do a fast food a meal now and then. But, and I, I'm trying to eat more like you thought, proteins or salads. You know, I eat a lot of salads, vegetables. And, uh, so anyway, that's that's where I'm at. But right now, I'm moving a chair in for the little girls. I'm taking this glider uh, in for the little girls, and uh, uh, we took their little chair out. Uh, it's got some issues, and I said, "Gee, I'll bring that little glider in." And I gotta dust it off a little bit better. Just coming out of the man cave. I brought a. Uh, G's uh, lift chair out here because it's nice and dry and the air conditioner goes. It keeps a controlled climate in here. And uh, so I brought it out here. Uh, G's kind of rearranging some of the stuff in the house and we didn't want to get rid of this. These things are expensive and it's such good shape. So cause she hasn't had to use it since, you know, she got her hip fixed. 
So I brought it out here. If it ever comes to a point we might need it, we've got it, you know? And uh, nobody's going to abuse it out here. Uh, usually we have three or four guys come out here with set, but it's just guys sitting around talking. So there's no, no smoking cigarettes so it would cause that to smell or anything like that. No pipes or cigars. Uh, just guys sitting around and... It'll stay good and clean and in good shape here out here. And I take anyway, this is where the little rec, the little glider set. So I moved it out and I put this here because we needed four chairs out here. Because usually four of us meet up out here. If we need an extra chair, we bring one from the uh, pavilion in here for an extra guy or two. All right. So anyway, that's what I'm doing out here this morning. And I'm fixing to go in and take that glider in and get it set up. Okay, G and Kim went to get pick up groceries and they'll be back shortly.